Boy, it was nice, you know, out here quiet. Nobody bothered us out here last night. It was just nice and quiet. Was it? A lot of deer and elk. Man, we drove, we drove around them other two old places. You talk about mule deer, big ones. Really? really? And elk, this morning, a big old herd of elk come out of the field. We seen about four or five head going in. Last night, this morning, the field was full of elk. Ooh. Well, you know, in them days, there wasn't any elk in here. Oh, really? They, they didn't. What elk drifted in didn't last long. They get end up with somebody, somebody skillet. Yeah. Well, in them, them days, it was hard to get a mule deer. The boys would uh, not hard to get a deer. Really? Uh, they'd get on a track in the wintertime, they'd stay on it. Really? Yeah, they got it. It's just stay right on it because they. So were they just as not plentiful as they were now, or? Yeah, they're more deer, more game now than back then in this area oh. right here. Mm -hmm. See, this used to be all an orchard here. This used to be all orchard. Right? Well, there's some orchard stuff down well, there now too. Now it's just down there. That building has been built since we were in here last. There was no nothing here. No, uh, the whole barn set right there on that little knoll. The house set right over there, down under the hill next to the spring. And we had a garden around just over that little hill right there. Yeah. Uh, this is all, the, the orchard was all gone before we was in here. So the garden was up on the hill. How was it watered? No water. The only water, we packed water from the little spring below the house. And had to water it with buckets? Just from Brother Nature. Well, how did they get in and out of here? Did they have a horse and buggy? No buggy. Just, we get in the wintertime, they had an old sleigh. So how did they haul their flour and their sugar and their supplies to well, eat? Well, they did uh, come in different ways. Whoever was going out to allow, they could send it in on the the mail truck. Old Tex Williams, he run mail uh, mail route once a week. He'd go out and get the mail. Here, I don't remember that building being here when we was here. I know the house and barn uh, all tore down. Well, we can go down there to the old spring with the old okay. spring. What about these trees, though? Were these on your place? These yeah, pear these trees. Here. These are the apple tree. These look like some of the old trees. Yeah. Okay. No. But this whole uh, thing was in orchards up here. Apples and what have you. Now, I remember. I was pretty small. Mom, somehow or another, she got a whole enough money to get me a little old red wagon. And I wasn't very old, and, and old, old Fred Carper would come over and visit with Ralph and Rich. Uh -huh. And he was always chewing tobacco. And we was up the barn all gassing, you know, and he says, you want to chew this, boy? And he just chewed that tobacco. And pretty soon I'd get sicker than the devil. Of <laughs> course, old Rich and Ralph would go right along. They could care less. They just uh -huh. having fun like him. And I jumped on that little old red wagon. I took off there the gate, right in about there, about where that tree is, uh -huh. the yard gate. And I was going to try to go through that. Boy, I missed it. And I hit the post. Oh, wow. <laughs> My old head was just a spinning. <laughs> them guys just up there on the hill, just a laughing. Boy. Yeah, Bert. Well, Dover, now when, how long were you here? How long, long was the whole family well, here? Well, I moved here years? from the Enterprise just right after I was born. I mean, the family uh -huh. lived a little while over on the Hescock base and moved in here. Wasn't over there long that, that I can remember. See, I've been told this, that most of the time I spent here and I left here in about seven. Okay. About a year after Mom died. Okay. Yeah, we all... So this is where she died here in this this place. No, she here. died out the hospital. Okay. Place. Yeah. So when we talk about the homestead or, or the place where everybody lived, would this be considered right it? Here, right this here. is the main place. Yeah. That, that was the old mm -hmm. cellar. Hey. And, uh, none of this. This is a little field out here. No, that's all grown up. That's all new. And we we could shoot the rifles from here right on out in a bigger field on out there. That's what. <laughs> The older boy Where was the house in relation to this? Right, that, here. right, right here. Right here. Okay. And the, and the cellar was out back? Right there. Okay. Right there. There. They, they, they walked right from the house right into the cellar. Did, oh, okay. Let's tear that up in a minute and see what that is. Man. 
energy a souvenir. What the heck is it? It is something with rivets. Some old, probably some old bitchy farm machine. What's that? What's that? Who's that? <laughs> yeah. I was going to say part of an old stove, but it's not. No. No, it's not. I don't know what that is. Well, they decided this might be a piano. Piano. Come up. The hammer rods come up. The base of a piano. piano. And then they tied the string from here to organ. They had and then the all the strings were wired over there. The yeah. musical instrument, a piano, organ. The piano. Get these. Get the anchor here string. for the strings. From here, string down to there. And like the hammer rods come Need up there. Them. Yeah, now that you say that, I recognize that exactly. It's an old upright piano. Is it an or, upright? Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, it'd be an old upright because I've got one at home and that they string them like that. Mm -hmm. um, Better take that uh, up, carry it back up to the pickup. Can I bring the piano all the way out here in a wagon? <laughs> Did you guys have a piano, Delbert? Do you not remember? that I know of. No, not that I can I don't remember. Know who that is. We had an old piano. Well, Dad, old Dad had a fiddle. I don't know how Good on the fiddle, he played that a lot hmm. whenever he's home. And Boy, get my picture huh. from he's going wor away working a lot in the camp. He cooked a lot. I see it. some plum bushes down there. I, I can see a ripe plum. Well, we're, on we're, we're, what hey. years are we talking about then when you lived here? Hey, she's going to fall well, out. Moved here. I've moved out to Promise. I'm still just one mm -hmm. less than a year old. What? I was just born in Enterprise and they moved okay. across from the Hescock yeah. phase, which we can almost see it from here. Lived there for a while. I don't remember this. I was told this. We lived on the Hescock face file and we moved here. I don't remember much what went on here until maybe three, four years old. Mm -hmm. From then on, I can remember a lot of little quips and quotes. And, mm -hmm. But are we and, talking about the 20s? Back in the 20s? Yeah. Or? Oh, yeah. 20, yeah. About, the, about 25. Now, Mom says something about uh, the Depression. She said they were living here when the depression hit and she said uh, that the, the family got along really quite good because you could grow so much of your own food or wherever they were living at the time during the depression she well, said they here. got along pretty good yeah, we, so, so, so we do you think these trees were planted by grandpa roby then these, uh, these, uh, these trees yeah the, the fruit trees around here uh, i kind of think they were here when we moved here Oh, they were planted by other people yeah. who they bought the place from. Early, uh, early Do you remember the house at all? How big it was? Yeah, or yeah. Can you describe the house? Yeah. Well, it was just a, an old square log log house with two big rooms downstairs. One of them was a living room and kitchen, and the next one was used <coughs> for a bed and catch all whatever. And there are two big rooms upstairs. And, and that's all where the boys the kids slept. slept in one end, and the girls in the other. They had the upstairs window facing that way, facing south, and that's the one the boys used to always shoot out of, their rifle sighting them in. And that's why I got to shoot my first 30, 40 Craig. And I Mom tells a story out here about helping her mother can in the summer, and the old cook stove got so hot yeah. that it caught on fire, and she had... She's Before telling, get, getting yeah. everybody buckets yeah, of water. They were house. dragging buckets of water and throwing it all over it to keep I the don't house from I don't burning remember down. that. I don't know them talking about it. Yeah, yeah, I have that on an earlier tape I made yeah. for Mom. They had the big old hot water boiler on the side. I can remember that. And the yeah. warming oven. And she, she, she had no, it was uh, about 19 or 20. So that would put Titus uh, a year or two older. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they were pretty old. Clarence, he's 14 years older than me, and Rich is 10 years older, Ralph is 9, so they were all older than us three younger kids. Yes, I remember that, right but thing? I was just trying to determine if Grandma was sick, and my mother was the oldest girl, and there were all these little children, why my mother did not become more of a mother to the little children, which oftentimes happens. Well, she did after after her mom died. Shortly after her and your dad moved over here uh -huh. and took care of us for a little while. Uh -huh. and then Ben Wheeler moved in. Okay. For a little while. Then from there on we moved out. But uh, your mom came over and took care of us. Uh -huh. 
she, they were having a hard time making it too. I know. And and uh, then Barbara they, was born when they lived down on the old Bennett place. Yeah. Uh huh. And then they moved up to the the Barton place where yeah. I lived. When, where they lived when I was born. And then that's where we lived when the twins were born and when Yvonne came to live with us. And that's the other question. Do you remember when Yvonne came to live with us? No. You have no conception of what age she might have been? No. The only, I think the first I remember Yvonne, the first I can remember, about over home at Bates. Yeah, when oh, they lived okay. at Bates. Okay. And maybe out of, uh, out of Boardman. I and mean, you don't remember her living with us at all? Nope. Okay. No, so I was pretty young. Yes, you were. Yeah. Pick the pieces together from what you might have gleaned from remembering stories or whatever, yeah. so. And, and you helped. Well, do you remember when the time I was a sophomore high school, I come out and went hunting, deer hunting? I sure do. Yeah. And I remember when you came home from the Merchant Marines and you came all the way out to see us kids and you brought a whole big package of double mint chewing gum. And that's the first time I'd ever <laughs> seen gum. <laughs> and I just thought that was the greatest thing in all this world that my uncle brought that to us. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'll bet it is. Sure it is. <coughs> That's the sure. Well, do you remember the story of when Gladys said the old she spring house came out except here? Right down here. Uh, here is none of this brush, these trees. It's, this is all new. Okay. When I was over here last time, I went down and got some of the old shakes. The old roof had caved in, uh -huh. and the old yellow pine shakes, and they're still good. Uh -huh. I took some of them home. Now, is Winnie older or younger than you? Winnie? Winnie? <coughs> She's at least four years old. Okay. Yeah. So she would I, remember this about, place pretty well, too. Yeah, she put, she just, she don't like to remember. She oh, trying she to, she trying to, uh, I, I told her I like to remember everything I can find out or know about her. She doesn't. Yeah. She's starting to change now, because it's, you know, like like her little sister. That she, that's all new to her. Uh -huh. See, I'd heard about uh, uh, having a little sister, but all the time I thought it was Winnie's twin. I was misinformed or misled that Winnie had a twin, and that was the little girl that died. Of course, I, my twin was a little girl. And as I understand, it was born dead. There's no life. But all the time, all them years, I was under the impression that Winnie had a twin, and that little girl was her twin. Hmm. And she didn't. It just, that was the impression I had through some of the talk and whatever. Oh, be darn. So that's all new to me, that she was a separate little girl. But this is the place, was the last place where the Roby family lived. Yeah. This is the last place, and this is where the yeah. family broke up. This is yeah. where Grandmother and was lived, very, very sick. We were all together here for six years, five and a half years. Well, Mom's telling the story on that tape that you made that I was listening to this morning, that Mom was with your mother when she started hemorrhaging, right here, I guess, yeah. in this place. Yeah. And Grandma Roby said, get the sheets, get sheets, and they started packing her with sheets. And then she said, go get help. Now, Thelma tells me the story yesterday morning that when Grandma Roby asked for help from the boys, the boys didn't go get help because they weren't used to minding mom. They were used to doing their own things. So I don't know how it is that anyway, mom said they finally got to the Smith house. And, and the Smiths were the ones who took her into the hospital. Yeah, well, I can believe that. W whether it was Wallawa or Enterprise, I don't know. Enterprise. But Th Thelma said there was a, that R Ralph says there was a trail of blood from Grandma Roby that yeah. went into the house when they went to get help. And Grandma Roby, of course, passed away. She never came back home. Uh, I and that, of course, she was there. She out there. Yeah, well, she was there in the hospital. She asked Edna, our mother, to take care of you yeah. and promises it. Will you promise me you'll look after little Delbert? Yeah. And mom promised her she would, but she didn't know how she could keep that promise wasn't because married she yet, wasn't married and no home, no she money, was yeah. do, couldn't, but could, she promised that she'd deal. look out after you. But the older boys, uh, they, uh, they all jumped in then and uh, made sure we didn't get to the orphan's home. Yeah. yeah